And what was Cashman like when you met him? So I didn't know this snotty nose, skinny looking rat until he messaged me across Instagram. He likes messaging people across Instagram, okay? I didn't know him, didn't have a clue about him. I've been out the picture. I've got out, I didn't give out anyone's reputation as a gunman. So when I've got out, I've started being attacked by organised crime groups for what I stood for. And they were using um, convicted rapists to target me in music videos. And, you know, they, they had this, they were, they were funding this rapist from the south end of Liverpool who had got 15 years for, for um, you know, raping young girls. One was in a wheelchair. But that rapist has got out of prison and he started thinking he's a rapper because he because his daddy was Tommy Wynn, his stepdaddy was Tommy Wynn. No one had gone near him in the city because Tommy Wynn was well connected. So this nonce was just like Akin Arabiki, walking around the city thinking he was Pablo Arfaba. Do you understand what I'm saying? Anyway, because I'm because I'm screaming what I'm screaming. They start funding this dirty little rapist to make rap songs about me, right? And it was a man called Stephen Turney that was funding this nonce. Stephen Turney's been in the game for years. You know, he's been based in Morocco, he's been based in Marbella, he's been based in Dubai. And he had a little group around him. And uh, Cashman was Shorty, Stephen Turney, Shorty's his name. Cashman was Stephen Turney's little run around. Do you understand what I'm saying? So once I found out who was targeting me with this little nonce, paying this nonce to go and get videos done so they can write me off on social media, you know, making rap videos, killing me off. Speaking about me, my dead brother who committed to... You've seen the videos out there if you've been following me for a while. I don't, I don't need to get back into it. When I found out it was Shorty that was funding him, when I found out and I was seeing videos of this nonce in Spain and he's surrounded by these scousers and these scousers are say, say, saying certain things that only certain individuals will know whilst they're being in prison. Because I met Shorty in prison. Okay, I met him in Oakwood and I had the little fat at the end of my bed in Oakwood crying that his beard was getting banged behind his back while he's in jail. This is the type of little rat he was. I took him under my wing and I had him training with me in, in, um, in Oakwood in 2011. I had him and a man from Garston called Ronnie Scott. I had the pair of them training with me. That's how I knew this shorty, okay? He's got out before me. Right through his prison sentence for a firearm, he had his graph going. And every time he was around me, he was on his phone stacking dough, bam, bam, bam. So whilst he was in custody, he was just stacking pure dough. So when he's got out of custody, he was very, very rich. And he cracked on with whatever he was doing. I've got out, started targeting drug dealers in my area, and they've jumped on the bandwagon started targeting me. And things that were said on certain videos, I knew I'd only spoke to Shorty about. So I was on him and then it got confirmed. So I just started screaming about Shorty. When I'm speaking about drug dealers and organised crime, I'm speaking about Shorty. And I'm exposing Shorty for what he's up to and what he's doing because he was targeting me. Okay. On the back of that, I get a message off this kid called Cashman. Do you understand what I'm saying? I get a message off this kid called Cashman. What's up, then, lad? You're all right. Can I come and see you? Can I meet you? Yeah, where do you want to meet me, lad? Anywhere. Says, all right, then come to my apartment, mate. Where are you? So I used to live on Robson Street. I tried to get killed at my Mars, which was 25 in uh, Mary Poor Close on the 17th of March 2018 because of what I was preaching. They tried to get me done because of the lamb and the eaves and the kinnahans. They tried to get me killed. They never said they never accomplished that mission. They ended up putting some rat that set me up in hospital. So the attention weren't coming to me mum's because she was getting old like this. I moved out my mum's to around the corner. 
about 100 yards. So I'm living on Robson Street and I'm living in 79A, which is the top apartment, okay? And I've been there for quite a few months, still writing all these drug dealers off, but not giving up. I'm based in my gaff. If you want to come and get me, come in, come and get me. Not one of them would come through. Obviously, they kicked the door in, but when I fronted it saying, come through and we'll deal with it, they never did, okay? So I've said to him, come to where I live, lad. Here's the address. So he's come. I've let him in. I was expecting someone, you know, who could have a bit of a scrap. I opened the door, thought I was looking at a crackhead. But me, I know crackheads are dangerous. Like the red from Nogsy. A crackhead who's dangerous, okay? Because they've got firearms. I've opened the door. I've got this skinny little short kid there. I'm thinking... Well, he wasn't really short, but he was shorter than me. Do you understand what I'm saying? And he's got this little scruffy beard. He looks like he'd been on the coke all his life. And he's coming in. He's going, what's happened, lad? Yeah, you're all right. I said, yeah, come here, sit down. I've noticed he's got his 38 on him. I've noticed he's got his thing on him. He sat on the end of my couch. And I'm speaking to him. And da 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 And da 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 And then he comes out with it. What's happening with you and Shorty, lad? I said, what do you mean? What's happening with me and Shorty? You're speaking about him on social media. He's attacking me with this nonce, lad. And if he continues to attack me with this nonce, I'm going to expose him further and further. So the best thing you can do is tell him to keep my name out of that bouncer's mouth and I'll keep his name out of my mouth. Blah, blah, blah. But what are you going to do if people come through your door? This is the exact conversation. What are you going to do, darling, if people come through your door for what you're doing? I said, I'm here. Look at that there, which was an axe. Look at that over there, which was something else, you know, which could do damage if someone come through my door. If anyone comes in here, I am going to leave DNA all over the place. They'll be able to kill me, but the DNA will be all over the place. They'll get arrested and lifed off for it. That's grass and that, lad. I went, you what? You little rat, get out. Get out me gaff, tell Short he's a friend. And that was it. He's left. The last time I seen him. And I'm not lying. You know, that's what happened. Do you understand what I'm saying? Obviously, after I'd spoken, after I'd, after I'd heard of him, when he'd left that night, I'm on a live, I'm writing him off alongside Shorty. Pirates, ba ba bam, you know, writing them off, drug dealing scumbags, who do you think he's are? I start getting messages then saying, oh, lad, that Cashman's naughty, you know. That Cashman's this and that Cashman's that. I'm thinking, f*** him. I've just looked in his eyes. I know what I'm looking at. Do you understand? You can judge people in the life I've led by looking square in the eyes and looking deep within them. And you know who's weak and who's not. And that little sh was just a weak piece of it. The only thing that made him dangerous was the thing he had in his waistband and he still himself. Do you understand what I'm saying? I must admit, though, I must admit, when I've noticed he's got the thing on him, I never let on that I've noticed it. But I know what they look like. There's been plenty in my waistband in my time. Do you understand what I'm saying? But I never let on. But what I said to him is, lad, you definitely never brought nothing on you when you've come here, have you? Why, why? My gaff's under obs. You know, I'm getting watched, like, from the back of that shooting. So if he was going to use the thing, that made him not use it. Do you understand what I'm saying?